Hi everybody, it's Linda again, and I'm really excited about this little beauty that I have today. And her name is Gracie Bell. You know how I love those southern two names. Uh, <clears throat> my my little French bulldogs have two names. I have a I had an Emmy Lou and a Rachel Ann, and now I have uh, these two French bull, bulldogs are Abby Lee and and Lily Ann. So this is Gracie Bell. So I mean, she is really a very unique uh, traveler size journal. Or it's five by eight and a half, a little over five by eight and a half. Hard cover. It's Davy board, uh, which is a very solid uh, cover for you. It's very feminine, ladylike, and it's tea time and. Uh, I'll have to list down below uh, whose paper this is. Uh, you know, whenever I pick them up to do a video, I'm not sure, but I will list it. It did, co did come from one of the designers off of Etsy. I do know that. And she is loaded. She's got rounded corners. The decoupage front here has little flowers with pearls uh, decoupaged on, and you have this beautiful little uh, old-fashioned vintage-looking teapot and then you have some pink lace and this little white uh, lace and another flower with multiple pearls there and then this little uh, looks like a, a jelly bean right here and uh, look at the sides of all the lace now this lace uh, came from a lady uh, that sent it to me and this came off of a collar of a 1920 dress and I cut it to uh, put on here. It's very uh, beautiful uh, and it is an authentic vintage 1920s lace and then on the it's a two and a quarter inch spine and we have some cutouts uh, decoupaged on here and I think this is the uh, faux leather and then the decoupage with the little teaspoon and it says T-E-A and some floral designs around it and then this little pink uh, flower here. All of these flowers that I have are from Prism uh, and then uh, Prism and then on the back is the decoupage with the same beautiful paper and black edges, black painted edges and then this little tag there with the flower and the three little pink polka dot uh, ribbons coming out of it. So like I said, it's very feminine, very beautiful. Uh, it's just, uh, I don't know. I was really excited to create this. You know, I watch so many videos on YouTube and I get so inspired by so many people. And this one was uh, so feminine that I really loved it. And so let's take a look inside. Oh, before I forget, it's four signatures with four full size envelopes, and it's 168 pages. Now pages are front to back, and I don't really count. I don't count the envelopes or anything like that, or the little pieces that are are placed in here. So let's take a look. Here we go. And uh, you have a little tuck spot here. Let me get it into the frame. There you go little tuck spot here uh, says T and you have little cards and a little uh, tag and another little card uh, journaling cards all blank on the back everything inside has been edged in vintage photo and you have a painted uh, black here uh, with a book binding fabric underneath it and a little more uh, different pink lace and this beautiful uh, paper with the teacup and florals and music and then over here you have a hand uh, little flower here a uh, little bouquet on, on this uh, diagonal and let me get these out and then you have a little tea cards that looks like an old-fashioned wallpaper doesn't it and then we have here we go a uh, tag type that I made. It has a pocket here for you and some lace and a button and it's been hand painted 
and then it's plain on the uh, back that you can write on it. So you have a pocket and a pocket. And look at the paper. Isn't that just beautiful? Mm -hmm. And more lace here. This is double lace. You have a little strip here and a larger strip behind it. Which you can see here. And then you have a clip with a little pink clip here. And this is a little pocket, but I just clipped it on there. Oh, I know why I did that, because it lifts up with a little pink rosette lace here. This journal is loaded with lace everywhere. I think I got carried away with the lace. Little decoupage rose and a little uh, stamped uh, butterfly. I have special corners here and there, uh, punched out corners. This is a uh, tracing paper that's been coffee dyed that's trimmed in lace and a little uh, card there and some washi tape. And here's the lace, a stamp of a flower arrangement. Special edging, I think this is one of Martha Stewart's uh, punch outs. And here we have another pink hand painted pocket and a button and a, another lace and two, uh, this is a journaling little pad and a tag and that little purple button line paper with a little teacup another little line paper a decoupage look at this, this is just gorgeous and it's like a little flip that you can flip out like that and then you have the lace underneath it and a little tea uh, set and a butterfly that's been stamped in there. A large tag for writing. See more lace. And then you have the uh, full size envelope that's this beautiful uh, pink rosy pink with lace uh, and stamped corners I mean punched out corners on the envelope and a big washi tape and this uh, punched corners on the inside and all edged in the vintage photo and then we have a big tag hand painted tag with shimmering paint and then this just flips like that and then you have two little journaling card and a tag, lace trim, so you see this, these are very random throughout the little uh, punch corners and the laces that sort of stick hang over. A full lace and a little flower with a pearl in it. Uh, these are the cotton laces, crocheted laces. And then here in the pocket of the music, you have a full-size card that you can write on. And then just tuck right back in there. I just put randomly these clips, these colored clips, the pink ones. They're this beautiful rosy, like a magenta pink. Excuse me, I'll just turn that off. And then you have another uh, decorated uh, tracing paper here with some of this beautiful uh, light green lace, crocheted lace, and then it's been decoupaged and the uh, washi tape. Then you have a saying here from the, the kit uh, that I put there and made, a, made it into a pocket. And then you have a postcard, a tea time postcard with another pink lace uh, clip, a beautiful pink butterfly, and then the, uh, the goldish butterfly, the 
this is the, comes from the kit and then you have this glittery uh, shimmery smudged paint here and you have two layers of lace you have the pink and you have this beautiful white lace there and then this is at the end of the uh, signature and then you have two items here that you can write on more lace there then you have flowers with a collection of pearls and then you have some random piece of lace there and then you have more of this uh, beautiful light green lace on the edge there then you have a big tag that's part of the kit Eventually you have coffee stain paper, uh, card stocks, and, and all of the kind of papers that I usually put in there. And then you have that with this little teacup there. And then you have this glittery paint on the coffee stain paper, a little orange butterfly, lace and a flower and a pearl. The paper in this is just beautiful. I mean, it's just very vintage. A lot of color. A lot of line pages. Some I printed on cardstock. Some is on. Uh, now my paper is a. Uh, I use a 28 pound copy paper, and I have a 60 pound copy paper. And then the cardstock is 110 pounds. So you have that variety going on in here. And then I cut that out and uh, of one of the pages and made a pocket out of it. Another full-size envelope. This one has lace here on the front. Lay this large lace on the on the back, which is fronting a a pocket here with a, a gold flower with a brass center in here and then we have this journaling card a large one and here we have uh, I think I don't know what that was but it's something that's pointing down there like notes here and then look at this, this is just gorgeous. And then another line, more lace. A flip lace that's covering the other lace. A lace that's a pocket, I just didn't put anything in there. And then you have a where I cut out a spoon uh, from the kit. And this is from the kit. Stamp. Another full size lace. So you see, this was the green uh, signature. This is the white signature. And now we got a pink signature, all pink lace. Big lace with another flower and a pearl. A little pocket with a pink lace. Stamping and uh, glitter paint, shimmer paint. You can still write over all of that. Random pockets. Another big, this is the prettiest lace. A diagonal, special cut, holes punched where you can see what's in it. And then another little pink cotton lace. And then you have this with a little tag and a little card, a little key card, crimped with more lace, plain on the back for you to write on. And so you can see, see it through the little holes. And another little quote from the package that I decoupaged over a big piece of lace. more double lace with this little snowball lace and a 
this button that just seemed to fit right over it. Little pocket again, envelope, I mean, with the big lace on the back. Lace on the front. See, now you see what I mean with I got carried away with all the lace. But this paper just seemed to cry for this kind of treatment. This ladies diary journal. A white strip of lace layered over this large pink. I love that stamp. It's so soft and feminine looking. And then another large pink that uh, is on the back of this big band and a little flower and the pearl. Another large tag that you can write on the back. And then here we have this beautiful white lace again and a pocket with two, two. And then another, well, maybe, yeah, two. And then another flower with the multiple pearls in the center and another strip of lace. And then here, here is a the same type of lace that we were doing on the front, in the front signature. And here's the back with a decoupage strip and a button. It's like never ending. I mean, every time you turn a page, it's something that is really neat. Double lacing here on this full size envelope, then lace again in the back. Still leaves you plenty of room. I think this, this has the most line pages and the most writing space are spaces that you can create your own decoupaging in, cutting out uh, whatever is you want to have in here. And this is double lace. You can't really tell until you get right up on it. But we have this big strip and then we have the little snowball uh, or pom-pom, little baby pom-pom strip right here. Another glittery. And then the tracing coffee stain paper and then we have our last strip of lace here and we have it on that hand painted uh, pocket large pocket and another flower and then we have three journaling cards inside of that and then here is the back and it has the pink lace trim and this is I'm proud to say Gracie Bell. I mean, she feels really good in your hand. She will come with a pink band that goes around like this because I wouldn't want to put it on all this gorgeous lace. Uh, and here's the top. You can see some things come out of the, the top. But I mean, she's really... Look at the bottom. Look at all that. It's so beautiful to have in your hand. So let me know what you think about Gracie Bell. She'll be up on my Etsy site sometimes this afternoon or first thing in the morning. Uh, sometimes it takes uh, a long time to feed it up on YouTube. Sometimes it doesn't. So, I mean, we just never know. So, But thank you for watching so much, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.